Whenever I think of my dear father, I lose my resolve to lose home. He's so infatuated with money and precious objects, and I am quite precious, you know. I guess I'd, I'll just have to stay here with him. By the way... Lately, he's been so obsessed with a particular kind of strange necklace. Yes, he fancies those skull necklaces. That day I used... <laughs> what? <laughs> that day I used X, Y, or Z to show him all of mine, he just... Uh... Okay, go talk to him about those neck. That's creepy. But I think she's hinting that you need to use X, Y, or Z. Also, do a somersault into the cabinet. Okay, it doesn't give rubies. Go show him an, a necklace. By the way, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal. And I'm Nova. And welcome back to Pal's Play Wind Waker. Last time, we got heart pieces, and we got the power bracelet, and the iron boots, which will come in handy later in the story. Go ahead and talk to him. Eh? Is this one of, or this is one of those skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie brought back from the Forsaken Fortress. Those sell quite well at antique shops. In fact, it was thanks to those beauties that I became so filthy rich overnight. Eh? And from the looks of it, I'd say you have about 20 of these, don't you? They aren't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. <laughs> I'll be paying the money yet again. The money bath. The only bath that gets you filthy, filthy rich. All right, boy. I'll give you this as a tip. Now, I'm not thinking, thanking you or anything. I'm just feeling good today. We got treasure chart number two, which will net us a another heart piece at Rock Spire Island. So... It's good that we picked this up. I was once quite poor myself, you know. Back then, I used to dream of owning a boat. A boat I could use to go off in search of treasure. And now, look at my filthy richness. Chase your dreams, little urchin. <laughs> okay, leave. Goodbye. I'd blow you up if I could. In fact, I can. There's... There's a glitch that allows you to use bombs indoors or any item, but I don't really care about trying it right now. So, uh, go go to the windmill. This is something that Nova and I did when we were young as the first thing we did. Uh, if you go behind the windmill, go behind it, there there is a, uh, a thing you can do. So, we're going to go behind the windmill now to trigger that because that's kind of a pre prerequisite for it. Okay, turn that on. And that will cause the windmill to start. Is the wind Yay. already going in the right direction? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. I'm just. Normally, you have to have way. the wind going. Was it north? Mm hmm. Yeah, north. And it was already going north, so it worked out. So now the wind wheel's going. And so now we can do stuff. Now, what we can do, I've been saying now too often, is go up there and talk to the dude that's up there because he will thank us and give us a reward for freeing the windmill. So go do that. Okay. Go say hi. I don't even know what his name is, but also the book has a really weird typo in that. Oh, and, and we get in here by going to the Battleship minigame, the going upstairs. Uh, the game has a really odd typo concerning the... Uh, this particular heart piece it says that you acquire it by it says quote get this creep after the windmill is working and the lighthouse is up wait what's this guy's name i don't think it's creep pre i'm don't i really don't think it's creep but still it's a typo either either less fine night isn't it okay fine i'll just do a normal voice well would you look at that the ferris wheel just started working all on its own Somebody must have started it up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it is or who, who he is, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Well, seeing as it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the chance. You can jump into the gondola seats just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man, it's fun. Wait, how do we get the thing? Uh... Actually, no, I think we get it for starting up the lighthouse. My bad. Okay. Why didn't you correct me? I didn't know. Oh. Okay. 
Isn't that a sad story? It doesn't have to be. Just skip it. <laughs> I've done enough reading. Okay, jump in. Insurance. This doesn't really seem safe. Why? They're just tiny ledges and lips. Although, to be fair, like, in, um... In other countries, they don't have screens or, or like, railings on some balconies. Because they trust that people are going to be stupid enough to just jump out. Aww. Oh. I don't think you need to, uh, be up on the Ferris wheel to do that. You really don't. Good job. Nice jump! Thank you. Yeah, I think you can nah, do it that's from... Not Enough. You can get up there. You can you can jump to the the little ledge there. Now the windmill, the lighthouse was working in years past, and now it is not. You should probably take aim. Yeah. Um, and now it's not. So what we're going to do is now that the windmill is turning, we can get a good angle to fire into the center of it with a fire arrow and start it up again. I find it interesting that it's powered by a little torch, but the light looks electric. Yeah, the light is really powerful. Okay, now go talk to whatever his name is. I'm just going to call him Creeb. Oh, and read the plaque. Read the plaque. I'm interested to see what it has to say. Say what you need to say. Come read on. it. I'm trying. Wielder of the flaming arrow. When you appear, the light lighthouse signal shall return to light the seas at night. The seer, J.L. Pika. Pika. Pical. Oh, Pical. Oh, I thought those were exclamation marks. <laughs> Do you see that, little man? The light in the lighthouse has been reignited. Check out the beam of light that sweeps out now, shining through the night's darkness. Seeing that brave, uh, that brave beam fighting the gloom that has made me so happy, I just feel like giving somebody a present. So here, I'm giving this to you, little man. Peace of heart! Yay! Woo! Awesome. That was a really simple way to get a piece of heart. Now Windfall is going to be even more lively than before. Hooray for everything! I like him. He's, he's very happy-go-lucky. Okay, go get the other heart piece. I could supply with you with the Tinkle Balloon t if you want to get it easily. Um. It would be much easier than this. Where is it? The chest that appeared? Yeah, it's right out front. Right in the front of the island. If Can islands have fronts? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's out... <gasps> Yeah, it's right there. So I, I can just supply you with the Tingle Balloon. Nah, I like to fly. The, you're gonna have to change the wind, though. Oh, my dear. You don't, you don't use Tingle enough in your episodes. You need to make use of him. Why? So you aren't bored? Yeah. I mean, I we made... You and I made a rather impressive use of Tingle last time. Yes, we did. That was that was pretty cool. Now, granted, we could have just done it with the Deagle Leaf, but we still did a pretty sweet job. Jumpity Jew! Apparently, Jews are chumpity. <laughs> chumpity Jew. Paladin, 2015. Okay, two for the price of one, Grandma. There's another heart piece that is gained from lighting up the lighthouse. Once again, really easy way to get two heart pieces. But once again, it can not It can only be done but with the fire arrows. Okay, now we're going to change it into daytime. And we're going to do a side quest that we dread. Trading quests, guys! Everyone loves them! That's why they're in every video game ever. Now, Zunaria during the day <laughs> will blow up. Uh, he will have something to say. No, no, no. If you wish to speak to me, please. I must insist you do so at my reception counter. Rules are rules. Oh, right. Thank you, Tom Nook. Okay, now what is he? I love how he has a stool. Yes, yes, yes. You're the young master who purchased my sale. At last, with those funds, I've been able to open my stall. But I hate to say that my poor little stall is not an instant success. In fact, it is rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide, uh, wide enough lineup of products. For if I'm able to be fully honest, I have only one product. Good for you. To, to put it another way, I think my stall would do much better if I could just stock some rare items that people can't get here in town. Yes, yes, that is what I need. Then I would make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money. I, it would be like t taking candy away from, or taking candy from many rich babies. No, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that is the proper perspective. 
But dear me, if I had a young partner to help me out, a real go-getter. Hmm. Yes, yes, master. Why is he calling us master? Now that I can, now that I take longer look at you, I see that you have a fine delivery bag. Do you not? Dear me, it is a bag fit for a uh, hero of delivery. I have a small uh, request, and it requires the use of that bag. Sure. <laughs> oh dear me! I knew it, young master. I knew you could confront. You would understand my plight. It is a rather long-winded explanation, but please take the time to hear me out. My stall is a kind of general store that makes its money by obtaining rare products at inexpensive prices and selling them, with remarkable markup or reasonable markup, of course. However, because I have so few products to sell, the shop remains rather deserted. I will sell anything. Um, I am the master of sale, or I am a master of the sale. Sounds odd. I just need to make some new product. Get some new products. I can't read. Could you not seek out traveling merchants and negotiate supply contracts with them for me? No, no, no. Do not look so frightened. I say contracts, but it's just a word. You do not have to do anything very difficult. All I need is for you to trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock. You see, among merchants, a trade is proof of a contract. That is to say, it is the merchant's oath. That is what we call it. Yes, yes. Merchants that have sworn a merchant's oath will afterwards send their products to me. It is the way things work. So, as you succeed in trading my products, my product lineup will increase. Do you understand everything I've just told you? Yes, sort of. Yes, yes. Young master, you are now my new salesman. No, 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 scratch that. Starting today, you and I are partners. Dear me, yes. I kind of like this guy. I give to you my proof of contract. In other words, this is my merchant's oath. Take it with you, my young partner. You got a town flower and stuff. This flower hails from the town of Bright Smiles. If you find a place to set this rather small flower, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and set this item to buttons to use it. The first thing you need to do is take this to another traveling merchant and trade it for something to build on the foundation of my merchant's oath. As soon as you trade, the merchant you traded with will send his products to my shop, thereby increasing my product line, which will make me quite happy. Well, your new trading partners, the traveling merchants, are waiting for you out somewhere out on the Great Sea. My dear, my expect or my dear, my exp exp expectations are high. All right, that was quite oh, a mouthful. Boy. But this is a trading quest. We have to go all over the great sea trade these things for more things for even more things for more things to get things i thought we only had to go to two places we have to go to quite a few places and the first place we're going to be going to is mother and child isles also ooh, 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 ooh at a blue choo, choo location uh at mother and child isles which is b2 now, you cannot warp here using the Battle of Gales, because we were here last episode, and warping here brings us into the Mother Island. Inside. Inside, yeah, so we can't do anything there. Um, but Tinkle actually just said something that's interesting. He says the waves here are bigger than the rest of the ocean because of the Forsaken Fortress. And it's pretty obvious. I mean, yeah. when you sail up, the waves almost come onto the grass. That's, that's cool, actually. Okay, go ahead and talk to him, but first... This is obviously a Goron. Right? Yeah. But if you use the Deku Leaf on him, it's very obviously a Goron. That's just cool. Use it again. That's just cool. Okay, let's go ahead and show him the, the thing. I'm what's called a traveling merchant. Just a poor wanderer cruising the world in search of rare objects of all sorts. New and old, strange and it's unsettling. I detected a scent wafting from this island that suggested to me that there might be something of value here. So I sailed my tiny raft all this way from far, far away. But the high rock wall on the main island blocks my way, so it seems that I won't be able to get much farther. What a disagreeable turn of events. However, my boy... That delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might well be home to rare and unique items. If you have any curios that might be worthy of selling in a shop, might you trade them to me? Someday, I'm going to open myself a shop. 
A huge shop. No, a mega super store. I'm trying to find goods to sell. So, can you show me what you got on you? Also, look at his hat in first person. Sheikah symbol. Sheikah symbol. Illuminati. <laughs> huh? Why, that's a town flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this sea flower? Yeah, we'll take your plant. Most agreeable. Then my fee will be. Yeah, that'll be 20 rupees on the dot. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. That squares us. Here's your item as promised. Hold out both of your hands. He seems like an all, a nice guy, and he also seems sort of sort of like the Happy Mask Salesman. Just because the Happy Mask Salesman had the bag, and he's a traveling merchant. So, by trading your goods for my goods, you and I have formed a merchant's oath. So, from this moment forward, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to Windfall Island Shop. Thanks again. I like Gorons. Okay, uh, let's see. Where to next? Uh, the next place we're going is Great Fish, which we can just warp to. Thank goodness. <gasps> Look. Oh, wow. Whoa. You don't have to get closer. So, we're at Great Fish on the west side of the island, and there's the merchant is right to our right, but right over there is the ghost ship that was mentioned by Lenzo. That's cool. Can you oh, hear it? Yeah. Listen. It's playing the ghost ship's theme. You know what? After, after we talk to this guy, go close to the ghost ship. Okay. You can actually hear the music right now, and it sounds so good. Uh, it's probably my favorite track in the game. I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yeah, I'm just a cheery fellow who bobs between waves in search of all manner of rare items. Cracked and pristine, wild and woolly. Woolly. I came from distant lands because I heard there was a treasure of great worth on this la island, but I can't find a thing. I thought perhaps my fate would cross with that most myth that most mystic of rare items, the fabled shop guru statue. But it seems as though I'm off the mark yet again. By the way, or by and by what is, by the by? Mm hmm That's the term? Mm-hmm. For some reason, I'm looking at that delivery bag of yours or looking at that delivery bag of yours gives me the sneaking suspicion that I might have some rare that it might have some rare treasure hidden in its depths. If you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all? This knapsack I'm lugging around is stuffed with stuffed full with all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you've got, and I'll show you what I'll trade for it? Huh? That's a sea flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this exotic flower? most worthy, then my fee will be... Ooh, I'll give you a, a huge deal on this. 25 rupees will do just fine. It's a deal, even though you're draining our wallet. Thanks, that settles things. I'll give you your item just as I promised. Hold out both hands. You got the exotic flower! It's a refreshing flower that blossoms in the tropical regions to the south. It's also in Skyward Sword. If you find a place to put it in, just skip that. So by trading your goods for my goods, we formed a, a merchant's oath. As such, from now on, I'll honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. So how you ask? Why, my good pal, the postman, will take it there for me. So I'll likely get the, get it there before you do. Just head back to Windfall Island and see for yourself. Thanks again. Okay, now sail up there. Oh, that's so cool that we got to encounter it. Come on. You can still hear the music. Oh. Shall I sail into it? Um, sure. You might want to zigzag. Yeah. 
So, the ghost ship is swirling with a bunch of the different souls that died within it. I'm presuming in, in Poe form. Yeah, I would agree. They do kind of resemble the Poe fire from the Forest Temple of Ocarina of Time. Yeah, very much so. So get closer. The music is amazing, by the way. It's not playing anymore, though. We're too close. Ooh, Tingle will examine it. Uh, he won't anymore. It disappeared. It's gone. Don't if, if you leave, won't it reappear? Yep, there it is. So we can't touch it, but it's there. So weird. Okay, let's go ahead and warp to the next island on our list, which is... Bomb Island. One quadrant north of... What is it? Forest Haven? Mm -hmm. Forest Haven is the other Goron. Go ahead and give him the thing. You can skip a lot of his text. Uh, well, actually don't. Hey, have we met somewhere before? Aren't you? No, couldn't be. Me? I am but a poor traveling merchant. I travel the world searching for rare objects of all sorts, modern and ancient, foreign and exotic. My dream, my dream has always been to someday open my own shop, but plans have a way of getting delayed, and now it's 30 years since I started. What is his hat? <laughs> time, is certainly laugh, time certainly laughs at us all, huh? And still, day in and day out, rain or shine, I spend my days looking for curiosities and rare items. Which reminds me, that delivery bag of yours looks like it might have some rare treasure in it. If you happen to have something of, qu of the quality that one could put on sale in a shop, would you consider trading it? I have many fine products to trade. If you have something that you'd like to trade, could you show it to me, please? Huh? Why, that's an exotic flower, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this sickle moon flag? Yeah! <laughs> Stuff. Satisfactory. Then my fee will be, uh, gee, um, 40 rupees maybe? Sure, why not? Thanks, that settles things. I'll give you your item as promised. Hold out both your hands. Ba -da -ba -da! You got the sickle moon flag. This flag of a bright red crescent moon is quite fancy. If you find a place to put it, choose your delivery bag on the item screen and just do the stuff. So by trading your goods for my goods, we now have formed a merchant's oath. And stuff. Okay, so you can skip this. So now, we can go back to Zunari now that we've drastically improved this shop by make, giving it flowers. And we can get a, a cool thing from it. But, this quest isn't over. We'll be finishing it this, this episode. But, suffice to say, there's actually a lot more to go. Hi, Zunari, bro! Yes, yes, young master, look! Already, my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It's a corn... Cornucopia? Cornucopia? No clue what that is. You, I've it's, never heard it's that term. It's a horn of plenty. It's the decoration you use at Thanksgiving. Oh. I don't remember that term. Okay. A corna... Corna... What? Cornucopia. Cornucopia. Okay. New word. To me. Thanks to you, young master, every morning the postman comes with packages from the traveling tra salesman you traded with. At last, my humble stall is the appearance of a full-fledged store with plants. My dear, your unflagging dedication is strengthened. Oh, he's not calling us dear. Sorry. My dear, there. Your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Oh, also the pun. Uh huh. Oh, I get why you did a face. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you from the very bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession. Next to my hooded coat, of course. It is none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. Da da ba da! You got the magic armor. Use your magic power to create a barrier around you and, pro and that protects you from enemy attacks. But not not knockback. You will yeah. still get knocked. Not knockback, just damage. This is the only heirloom I brought with me when I moved here from my hometown. Well, excluding the lovely sale you purchased from me earlier, of course. It is a magical heirloom, one that calls up the mis a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course, you can use it when you are sailing the open seas. My dear, please, use this to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants. I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for my new and exciting products. Or new and exciting products. Not that I have anything left to reward you with if you find any. Okay, there's one more quest that we need to do. Going back... Oh, he extended. Look at that. Yeah, and we don't have, we don't have a thing, by the way. 
or we do have a thing. We have a sickle, right? We still yeah. have a sickle? Okay. So, by going to back to, uh, to great, or not great fish, um, yeah, great fish, actually, we can trade our sickle moon flag for another thing and go back to mother and child, and the goal is to give that one merchant who wanted, where are you going? The boat. Then do it. There he is. <laughs> You can, you can trade a bunch of stuff and give that one merchant who wanted a shop guru statue, um, you can give him... No, what are you doing? We're going to Mother and Child. No, we're not. Oh. We're going to Great Fish. Okay. Um, and give him the shop guru statue, and he will reward us with a piece of heart. So there are a lot of, a lot of side questing, but, but, I would like to point out for the viewers, because Nova and I myself are getting tired of side quests. Sick and tired of side quests. Very sick and tired. Also, I want to do my favorite dungeon now. <laughs> um, so what we're going to be doing... Well, sorry, what I was going to say is that there aren't many side quests left. Exactly. There are... This is, like, one of the last couple. Um, and all of them reside on on Windfall. So it doesn't really matter... It doesn't really matter that we're taking out these long episodes because after this, there's nothing left to do. Hey, bro, we, we talked last night when there was a giant ghost ship ready to enslave our minds. Here's a flag! <laughs> Great opener. Huh? That's a sickle moon flag, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this fountain idol? Is that is that a statuette of Pot Lady? No. Hmm. She doesn't have long hair. Okay. Then my fee would be... Um... S That's kind of a... Uh, sure. Thanks, that settles things. That's a lot of money. Okay, so we get we get this thing. Uh, fountain Idol. It's a very strange statue. Okay, go ahead and skip that. And skip that too. Okay, now we can head to Mother and Child Isles to get, in return... A big sail flag. Huh? Why, that's a fountain idol, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this big sail flag? Yeah, bro. Most agreeable. Then my fee will be an arm and a leg and your second child. Oh, only 35. Okay. Thanks. That squares us. Here's your item, bro. Big sail flag! It would be pretty good for business. Now, does this improve Junar Zunari's stall? I'm not sure. That would be cool. Yeah, he's sending items there. Sweet! I wonder if he's gonna, like, look cool and stuff. Because I don't think I've done this quest on my playthroughs. Long time no see, except it's not. Huh? That's a big sail flag, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading that? For this hero's flag? Sure. Most worthy. Then my fee will be... Well, it's in need of repair. So I'm at 75 rupees? <laughs> well, thanks, that settles things. Here's your item, bro. <laughs> you got the hero's flag! It has a rather courageous something, but Nova stick skipped the text. You can skip this. I give you permission this time. Don't let it happen Give yet. Give it back to him? Now, what we're supposed to do is trade this back to him. Huh? That's... A hero's flag. Is it not? What? Where did you get that? Would you be interested in trading that for this postman statue? Yeah. Most worthy. Then my fee will be... Oh my goodness. Whoa. This is way too steep. We not. We may not have enough rupees for this. We better. We had better. We have spent 500 rupees this episode. For a piece of heart. <sighs> okay. Now we have to go back to Mother and Child. To trade that in again. Once again, you better appreciate it. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Man. Fancy meeting you here. Take our statue, please. <laughs> huh? Why, that's... Postman statue, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this shop guru statue? Whoa. It's golden Zunari. <laughs> why? Why is, why does someone make a statue of Zunari? 
Out of gold. Oh, what's his fee? Please not. But no, 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 no. Oh, no. What? What? No. Well. Cliff Plateau. All right, we are in Cliff Plateau Island. Uh, we'll show we'll show you the outside of it in a second. We are here because we're broke and we're not able to sell anything with Tingle. So you we're mean Beetle. What's whatever? I don't really care. Um, so we're doing this. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, we're we're seeing if we can get enough rupees here. We better. I am. I want rupees. And I need rupees. And so we're going to be killing everything in sight, hopefully getting what we want. And that's rupees. So like a silver rupee would be nice. Uh, not sure. Oh, get yeah. Make sure you get all the money. Get all the money. Get all the money. Money. Money first. Don't don't look at resources. Get money. That's why we're here. Okay, this best this chest better have money. Okay, please money, money. Okay, it's a normal chest. I'm guessing it's just a treasure chart, which is sad. In fact, I'm actually pretty positive that it's a treasure chart. If it is, um, snap. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to go for money, to be honest. There's no real easy way to go to get money. I mean, an easy way would just look at our treasure chart. In fact, let me just do this real quick. Let me look at silver rupees treasure wise and there should be a list of them so this is the outside of the island you have to time your bomb throws uh, to blow up the different platforms all right mr. hound of money we are back with 200 stinking rupees that you have no clue of the the pains that we went to get them what huh why that's a postman statue here here's my garbage a golden st oh to be fair, we, he is kind of getting the, the bad end of the deal. Okay, you know what? I'm not really angry at him. Thanks, that squares us. Here's your item. Hold out your hands. <laughs> Look at our money. We haven't been this low for Since a long time. Since the game time. started. Wow. I think we got more than this in the first episode. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, let's go back to Great Fish and hopefully we'll finish this up. You take your statue. Be happy about it. Don't charge us money. Is is that it couldn't be the shop guru statue. <clears throat> Such a divine figure. Okay. Surely this is none other than the legendary individual who reigns the peak of the business world. Oh, most worthy day. Wow, my lifelong dream has at last come true. Such joy. This is my thanks to you for fulfilling my dream. It's a heart-filled report! Ah! <laughs> Man after my own heart. Oh! Oh! Man after my own heart. <laughs> uh, my, I've re received a worthy item. Tonight, I will hold this close to my bosom as I sleep. I can't wait. Okay, bye. Okay, uh, before we end it off, go back to Windfall. Go back to Windfall. I really want to know what the shop looks like. Besides, we we should end it off there anyway, because that's where we're going to be starting off, because there's one last side quest in Windfall, and we're going to be doing it. Uh, oh, and then we can also no. show off the armor. Wow. Whoa! What? I've never seen this place this big, because I've never... Have you ever done this side quest? Wow. That's cool. That's a good reward. Here, get a get a good long view of it. It spins. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> it looks like, like a spinning ornament, those electric ones that they used to make. That is cool. Talk to him real quick in the reception thing. I want to I want to see hear what he says. If he gets over here. Yes, yes, yes. My fine sir, you seem to be in quite good spirits. And why not? Thanks to you, my shop has become quite fine. Quite fine indeed. Dear me, yes. Including a statue of yourself, which you sell. So, that is going to be it for this episode. 
next time, we're going to be doing a side quest. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we're going to be doing a side quest involving this shop. You see that there are little there are little crown mounts on the bottom of every single one of these statues. That is because they have a purpose. Um, around the island, there are little crowns that these will fit into, and you can spread good joy and peace throughout the the land with this. So, off screen, in between episodes, I am going to get a lot of money, and when I say a lot of money, I mean a ton. I mean a gorgeous amount of money. Obscene amounts of monies. I'm hopefully going to be getting up to the max cap. Um, and then I'm go we're going to be spreading joy throughout the land. And uh, before we end it off, also, Nova and I would like to show off what the magic armor does. Uh, by pressing it, it prevents all damage. And it lasts, it lasts a good long time. So it, it, it's pretty good. And... Uh, let me just remind you that pigs do a full heart of damage for each hit, so this this is pretty powerful stuff, and it's even ma it's made more powerful in that you can toggle it off and on, like, instantly. Here, toggle it off and on. Off. On. On. Yeah, see? So it, it can be toggled off and on almost instantly, uh, so if you see an attack coming, you can turn it on. All right. Like I said, that's going to be it for this episode. We've recorded for a long time. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Wind Waker. Once again, the schedule is being changed, so it could be Tuesday and Friday. Uh, but the future pal may have other plans in store. And we will and join us next time for another Pals Play Wind Waker, where we will knock out the last big side quest of the entire game. See you guys then!